It's a funny thing, spending several months in a psychiatric hospital. I learned how to develop a sense of humor as a resilience tool to deflect all the names being thrown at me while I was in there. Names like psychotic or manic or narcissistic. Plus, you were surrounded by patients and staff alike who are walking caricatures of previous stereotypes you've held in your head, and you can't help but realize that the place is ripe for parody. It is literally like being raised on the funny farm. I've always appreciated comedy, and at times have been known to be a pretty funny guy. While in the midst of a full-blown manic episode, that funniness can be amplified. Looking back on how I acted at those times, it's hard not to smile. Me talking to inanimate objects, like the cans of food in my cupboard, as if they had souls and feelings. Or my delusion that I was going to become the new age bus stop guru guy of Halifax, passing on golden tidbits of tender advice to one passenger at a time while they waited with me for their next ride. One of the best things that has happened to me since being diagnosed is becoming a part of Stand Up for Mental Health. It is a stand-up comedy class taught solely to people living with a psychiatric diagnosis. There was a time when I didn't think anything related to my mental illness was amusing. We learned to joke about being in hospital, being on medication, seeing psychiatrists, etc. Learning to laugh and joke about my craziness has enabled me to experience less self-stigma and has allowed me to open up about having a mental illness. It's cathartic, and it's empowering being able to stand in front of a group of people and make them laugh. It makes having a mental illness not that bad of a thing. I find laughter to be one of my strongest resilience weapons in my recovery arsenal.